A man has been sentenced for 15 years for orchestrating a Greenock firebomb murder plot while in prison. Relatives and properties of Andrew Sutherland and his half-brother Leonard Cole JNR were targeted in a series of firebomb attacks in 2020. Robert Warnock earlier pled guilty to a murder conspiracy charge for the attacks which were arranged as revenge for his brother being stabbed. A total of five other people were also jailed for their involvement. The court had previously heard how Warnock was able to help arrange the attacks from jail, where he is serving an 11-year jail term for attempting to murder a woman and assaulting her partner, after taking advantage of prisoners being allowed mobile phone access during the pandemic. Sentencing took place at the High Court in Glasgow where Lord Mulholland said Warnock had acted like a gangster as he sought to turn the streets of Greenock into a war zone. The court had heard the first attack was a petrol bombing on July 13, 2020 at a flat in Union Street, Greenock, where Cole's parents were at the time. A drug user called George Miller, 46, was then hired to target the property again on September 14 that year. After pouring petrol on the door and through the letterbox, Miller died after setting himself on fire. The final incident was at a flat in the town's Cumberland Road on September 19 where three people, including a child, were at the time. Warnock was jailed for 15 years and three months having earlier pled guilty to a charge of conspiracy to murder. This has been added to his current 11-year jail sentence. Craig McFarlane, 27, was jailed for 15 years and Kane Carr, 24, for 10 years after they were previously convicted of the same charge by a jury. Drew Darling, 29, was given a six-year jail term and Brendan O'Donnell, 24, was given nine years having previously admitted to attempted murder relating to involvement in the Union Street attack. Kieran McAnally, 26, who had previously admitted attempted murder over the petrol bombing at Cumberland Street, was sentenced to nine years. Lord Mulholland told the group, you engaged in a campaign of terror planned and executed over a period of months. The criminal conspiracy involved the attempted murder of six people and the death of George Miller you sought to turn Greenock into a war zone for your feud. There is no place for this type of conduct and the good people of Greenock deserve better than being treated to this gangsterism. Police Scotland's sub Douglas Falconer added, these acts were reckless and deliberate and showed complete disregard for those who could have been hurt as a result.